Want to get a robot up and running quickly? Let's put ROS on our Raspberry Pi and build that solid foundation for robotics. Hi, my name is Sid Faber from the robotics team at Canonical. In this video, we're going to take a look at installing ROS2 on your Raspberry Pi. ROS2 is not the same as ROS1, and in general, uh, software is not compatible between ROS1 and ROS2 unless it's explicitly made to be. We're going to be installing Foxy Fitzroy, the latest ROS2 release. It's the current LTS release. LTS stands for Long Term Support. In this case, it means that it's supported through 2023. Typically, the non-LTS releases are just used for exploring new features that will be produced in upcoming LTS releases. Okay, so to get started, all we need is a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 that's already running Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, we've done that in one of our earlier videos, so stop on over there if you don't have that set up yet. We're going to be following these instructions that are available on index.ros.org that show how to install ROS Foxy. We can trim these down a little bit because we know we're going to be starting with an Ubuntu 20.04 image. I wanted to take a few minutes though to give you a few pointers on some pitfalls to avoid. These are all based on a lot of first-hand experience, so I hope I can save you a lot of time, uh, keep you from heading down the wrong path. First of all, make sure you start with the right Ubuntu image. Each ROS release targets a specific Ubuntu LTS release. So for instance, since we're installing ROS Foxy, we need to install that on Ubuntu 20.04. If you wanted to install Ubuntu 18.04, then you'd have to select ROS Dashing. Second of all, make sure that you install the ROS binaries. Don't plan on building from source. Building from source can be pretty tricky on a Raspberry Pi uh, and is only rarely necessary. You'll definitely know if you need to build software from source. And finally, there's really no need to install all the desktop software, no X Windows and so on. You probably don't plan on having a keyboard and a monitor hooked up to your robot, so we'll just leave all that heavy lifting to other machines. We'll just be connecting to the robot with SSH, even if you plan to do software development. Remember, you can always install more software later, so we're going to start with a minimal install and add packages as we need them. Let's begin by logging into our Raspberry Pi. We need to add the key that's used to sign software in the ROS repository. That key is saved in GitHub, and we can find the URL here in the ROS Foxy installation instructions. Here in the Setup Sources section, we see the URL. We'll use the apt key fetch keys command to add the key. The URL for the ROS repository itself is also in the installation instructions. We'll use that URL with the apt add repository command, and this adds the repo to our Raspberry Pi. Since we used the add repository command, there's no need to run an apt update. Everything already is up to date, so we can go ahead and install. Okay, it looks like the installation is complete. However, by default, the binaries are not added into your path. However, we can do this by sourcing the setup file in opt ROS Foxy. Since we're gonna use this image always to run ROS, we might as well just go ahead and set up the paths every time we log in. So let's go ahead and add that to our bash RC file. Let's also go ahead and install Python 3 Arc Complete. This enables tab completion all throughout ROS. We'll find it's really useful uh, in shortcuts for typing ROS commands. Now that it looks like our install is done, how about we try out the examples? Yep, that didn't work quite as expected. 
uh, but actually that's not really surprising. Remember, we only did a minimal installation, so the demos were not installed. But as you can see, ROS2 is installed. Looks like we're up and running. So there you have it. The installation was pretty straightforward, and now we've got the latest version of a long-term supported ROS release running on our Raspberry Pi. Remember, once we had the OS installed, it was three basic steps. First, add the key that's used to sign the software in the repository, then add the repository, and then finally go ahead and run the installation. We kept our installation slim because we want to have a super fast performing robot. We'll add more software as we need it along the way. If you're running a slightly different setup or need some more assistance, check out the help and the tutorials on index.ros.org. There's lots more information available there. Again, my name is Sid Faber from the robotics team at Canonical. Thanks a bunch for watching.